Shalom, good morning everyone. Shmuel, the running tour guide from Marathon Israel. Here we are at the start of the Golan Volcano Run. What a place to run. So join us on this journey. Remember to subscribe to the channel and follow us as we take you to the best places in the land of Israel. Marathon Israel brings you the best. Have fun. Thank you guys. We're on our way soon. Peace. ואנחנו רוצים לכבד ולזכור את חגי שאהב מאוד את האזור, אהב מאוד את הגולן, אהב מאוד את המרחב, אהב מאוד גם לרות ובהצלחה רבה לכולם, תודה שבאתם, רוצו, תהנו ותזכרו, תודה רבה. תודה רבה לך. It's going to be a super day. Here I am on the start line with Yaniv. Hi. And Yaniv taught me last night yeah. about sky running. Right. <laughs> so today we can do a little bit of sky running here in the Golan, if you can call it that. Just a bit. A little bit. Speak to Yaniv and he'll tell you about adventurous running. And that's what we're doing today. Welcome to the adventure of the Golan Heights. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. My name is Orit. Hi, Orit. Lovely to meet you. You too, me too. How are you feeling at the beginning of this run? This moment, I feel still okay. Well, Thank it's, you. So, it's so nice for me to be here with you in these beautiful orchards, fruit orchards. This is where the run oh, begins, yeah. here in Kibbutz Merom Golan. The first kibbutz in the Golan Heights after the Six Day War. July of 1967, this was settled and became an agricultural paradise. As we turn the corner, I'll be able to show you our first mountain, a volcano called Ben Tull. And there she is in all her glory, Mount Ben Tull. And here in the foreground, kiwi fruit. Huh? How about that, mate? Kiwis in the Golan Heights, on the Syrian border. Surprises, surprises. Now here's a guy with a passion for this race, a local from Kibbutz Merom Golan, basically grew up in these beautiful mountains and volcanoes. What's your name, sir? Arnon. Arnon, thank you so much for the effort you put into creating this race. Uh, you and Ophir make a great team. <laughs> Wonderful, look at this. Hugged by the mountains of Bentol. And, and behind us, Avital. And now I'm going to open a historical view for you. I'm going to introduce you to Nadia and her children. Let's go and see. Okay, this requires you to go off the course because I can really open up the historical value of where we are. Here is Nadia and her children. Right. You see that? Wow. Now, here is a powerful story for you. And... Uh, if you want to digest it, have a look at Sasha Baron Cohen. On Netflix, you can go and look at the movie called The Spy. In brief, Eli Cohen, one of Israel's most crucial intelligence gatherers prior to the Six Day War, was in Syria. And without Eli's intelligence, we probably would not be able to run. Actually, we definitely would not be able to run where we are. So, more about that later, but Nadia, the wife of Eli, is still waiting for her husband's body to be returned 56 years after his public assassination on the streets of Damascus. We are still waiting for him to come home. What a long story, but like I said, check out The Spy and you'll learn all about it. Now look at this incredible mountain we're climbing. It's not a mountain, it's a volcanic peak called Avi Tal. Avi being father, and behind me, the sun, Ben. So the route is taking us up the higher volcano. We're gonna climb to 1,100 
and 36 meters. Let's do it. Okay, friends, just have a look at this. They are running in the moat and I'm running on the single trail so that I can enjoy the view. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? Very good. Very good, up this volcano? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Beautiful weather, beautiful day, beautiful landscape. Perfect. Couldn't agree more. What's your name? Gen. Gen. Motse Gen Benai. Gen, what a beautiful name. Looking good, bursting like a volcano <laughs> up Mount Avital. Okay, we're nearing the top. You saw that trail marker, the blue, green and white. That is Spiel Hagolan, the Golan Trail. And if you look east here, actually southeast, you can see Kibbutz Ein Zivan. Isn't that a gorgeous location? Surrounded by the oak orchards and a place you can visit. You can have chocolates at Dekarina. You can have wine at Bahat. There's a hummus here, you can eat hummus and even a burger place and a wonderful holiday village. Check it out. Come and spend a night. And the best time to come is for the run. Come and do the volcano run. Okay, down we go. This is a technical section. So you gotta watch your step. It's a sharp drop down from 1,136 meters down to 900 meters. And then we head south towards Yosifon. So those are the three volcanic mounds that you'll see on this run. Bental, Avital, Yosifon. A cumulative climb of 700 meters altitude advantage, altitude gain. Not bad, eh? And for the 14 kilometer, there's a 300 meter cumulative altitude climb. So that means you get the views and down we go, slowly, slowly. Agenda Vida Dom. Thank you very much. Keep us safe. Gotta learn from the pros. Iron men amongst us. Flying down this hill, but concentrate. Every step is important. Don't do what we do. Or should I say, don't try this at home. Try this on the trails. <laughs> That was fun. Yep. <laughs> Not bad for a that's, city. That's trail running. Not bad for a city boy like me, a road runner. You don't look uh, like, uh, like uh, a city boy. Exactly. I've only been a trail runner for about two years now. Yep. But here we go. You can learn from the best. Guys, such a base of knowledge. Last night we had a panel talk and we were introduced to real leaders in the Israeli running field. And they told us some magnificent stories and gave us all the tricks of the trade. So it's not only about the race itself, it's the night before, it's the pasta party, it's the feel of togetherness here in the land of Israel, Marathon Israel. Check out all our events. We've got lots coming up. Our next one is Mount Tabor, a half marathon that also circles a mountain, not a volcano, but a very conical, historical landmark in the land of Israel. Great race. Great race. Great place. In and Hebrew, uh, we said, Chaval al -Azman. Chaval al -Azman. there we go. It's a pity about the time, but it's more like, 
Enjoy the time. Go for it. Come on. There we go. Yossi's going to show us the way. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a little bit of a walk, treat myself, and remember to enjoy the beauty that's running. And oh, look at the intricate creatures that you can find en route. This here is a coleoptera. Have a look at that. A beautiful dung beetle. Crucial in this area. Whoa. Let me put him down for you. Not to disturb nature for too long. But these dung beetles, what do they do? They do the dirty work. <laughs> Excuse the pun. It's a crappy job. But the job that is needed because all of the dung, especially here in the Golan, I'm going to take you past a cattle farm, part of Kibbutz Merom Golan, and there are free range, free roaming cattle. So these dung beetles basically roll up the dung, push it along, and those nutrients return to the soil to bring forth new produce. So nature is beautiful and hills are tough. There we go. Well done, looking good. Keep it up. Yep. That's the beautiful plateau that you can see. We're looking north towards Abital, where we've come from. And we'll continue our climb up Yosifun. You can see all of the bunkers, right? Because we're on the front lines. These were tense times in 1967, but even more tense in 1973 during the Yom Kippur War. Now, the valley behind us looks pretty similar to Emek Habacha, the Valley of Tears. The Valley of Tears is north of Mount Pental, a miraculous effort in a miraculous war. You cannot explain this one, but we had about 140 Israeli tanks up against 600 Syrian tanks. To cut a long story short, Avigdor Kahalani, the hero of that movement, showed strength and said, this is the moment, guys. If we don't show strength, there's no way and we could lose the state of Israel. There we go. Thank you. Good work. You can see military installations from those times. The Six Day War, but here yeah, mainly Israeli military installations from 1973, the Yom Kippur War. Bokerto! <laughs> Guys, these are the smiles that you need on the run. This is behind the scenes. Thank you guys. It's so important. We have you here to help us. We appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying the day. Thank you. I'll have a l'chaim in your honor. L'chaim. Spring is in the air and we're springing about. You know, guys, what I want to share with you now, it's a perfect run for families. I believe Chen's wife is running the 32 kilometer. Yes. And your son is running the 14 kilometer. Of course. Isn't that something? So it's a place to come, not on your own. Bring the mishpocha, bring the family. There's even a three kilometer. So uh, if you're lucky, I'll introduce you to Chen's family at the finish. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for coming. Thank you. Irita Gdola. This is called the Asphodel. Look at that. Isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Edible stuff. You can eat the mustard. You can eat the Asphodel. Lots of trail food out here. You don't even need the feeding stations. You can just grab whatever's here. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Yoram, palm shlishit, bilia. Third time in a row. I saw my friend here at the Finger of Galilee, which was last Friday, then Mount Hermon in the snow on Monday, no. and here, here, whoa, look where we are, here, here in a firing zone. Welcome to the Middle East. This route is incredible. Here, they've opened up this road specifically for us, the runners. The military, the IDF, allows us to run through this firing zone, a place where young soldiers the defenders of Israel, the IDF, not the IOF, the Israel Offensive Forces. It's the IDF, Defensive Forces. 
We're here seeking peace, pursuing peace, but we're doing it by defending ourselves. The Jewish people have returned to their homeland and we have the ability to defend ourselves and to determine our futures. And won't you agree, you know, don't be a bystander. Don't look at history happening. Be an active participant in the history of the world. Yeah. And this is a global story. Yeah. It's not just Israel's story. <laughs> it's a place for all the nations. So guys, I can't choose a better run to come and run on these historical hills but that are still so significant in terms of defining our future. Plenty still to play out here. But hold on a bit. I'm going to leave you with good news from the book of Ezekiel. The prophet Ezekiel, who lived during the first temple times, gives us a very encouraging piece of prophecy. It's in chapter 36, but wait for it, because it's on the mountains. But you, O mountains of Israel, I'll keep you in suspense and I'll share with you when we get to Mount Pentel. How are you feeling? I'm very good. A nice day. It's good, everybody. And good luck, everybody. And peace for all the world. Good morning. That's it. Heaven shalom alechem. Heaven shalom alechem. Heaven shalom alechem. Heaven shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Shalom, peace from the land of Israel. In a love. love, in a firing zone, in between volcanoes. Good morning. How are you? Okay. What's your name? Dussel. 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 Lovely to meet you here in the Golan Heights. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. How's the run going? So far, so good. Right. Enjoying the views. Okay. My first time running in the Golan. Well, you're doing great. Thank you. And keep up this pace, and I think you're in for a good position. Uh, Podium, please, podium. So how many kilometers have we done now? Uh, 20, almost 21. There we go, coming up to the half marathon mark, which means we're just over 11 kilometers to go. Let's see, we are on two hours and three minutes. So as a road runner, I'm not used to seeing that, but uh, nice steady trail miles coming up to the half marathon mark. And look at that, coming up, another moving view. Beautiful. Have a look at that. That's a lupine. And then this view. A typical view of the Golan Heights. Good morning, guys. Oh Bokertov. This reminds me. Have you seen that meme? That your chances of being killed by a cow are low, but never zero. <laughs> exactly. Oh, these cows looking at me remind me of that. Yeah. There are risks in trail running, so you better move it, otherwise you're in trouble. All along the route you see these beautiful water estuaries. A very important role of the Golan Heights is that it catches the rainwater. 30% of the rainwater that flows down into the Sea of Galilee, the Kinneret, comes from here. So it's a territory that's not only important historically, but in the modern state of Israel, a crucial sponge of life, biblical connections, modern connections, Ma'im Chaim, water is life. One of my favorite sections coming up, this is the Shifon Forest. And this is a place they're trying to bring back the indigenous trees to the land of Israel. You can see a cedar of Lebanon, you can see the Aleppo pines, and the occasional oak trees wonderful Israel, a country with a positive growth rate in trees, greening the desert. Gorgeous terrain. We're going to have to cross this one. This is like a crossing of the Jordan experience. Nicely done, Joram. Oh, 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 yes! Did it! Beauty! Thank you, my friend. Well, I know. Guys, remember behind the scenes, <laughs> the photos you see. Also, have a look at this incredible drone work. We've got specialists out in the field. Dvir Almog, 
So many fit here. Thank you guys. I'm back with Orit. How are you, Orit? Breathless. Breathless, that's good. Yeah, it's okay. Breathless because of the beauty or breathless because of the difficulty? Everything. The beauty, <laughs> the difficulty, the excitement. That's it. Here we are stuck in the middle of the leading woman. Oritia placed second, not far ahead. In the meanwhile. In the meantime, exactly. You never know. Focus on the fun and the enjoyment. Yeah. The outcome yeah. is unimportant. If it happens to be good, it's good. It will be good, yeah. Exactly. Wonderful. Thank Enjoy. You, thank you. Okay, guys. You know what? It's time to try a new green and gorgeous Marathon Israel startup concept. To heck with the plastic. Let's throw away the plastic and use these. Have a look here. What's your name? Rama. Rama is pouring a beautiful, delicious Marathon Israel gorgeous green cup. How's that? Keep it clean. You can run with it. You can actually just fold it up in your pocket. Have a look. Fold it up. It's as simple as that. You can even attach it to your watch or just put it in your pouch. There we go. As simple as pie. You can look after nature and you can feel good. Take a quick walk here with my friend Guy. I can show you this. This is, this is my VIP gold card Marathon Israel. I've even got my CVV number. I've got 1929. That is my permanent number. Um, reminds me of the Great Depression. Uh, <laughs> or the 1929 Jaffa riots. Anyway, we'll focus on good things and positive things. How about joining the Marathon Israel VIP club? It affords you discounted entries into all of our events and you can join this wonderful VIP club. Gan Eden Mikeden. What a perfect place to share what I promised you from the book of Ezekiel chapter 36. And as we turn the corner, you're gonna see the mountains, the mountains of Israel. And what does it say? But you, O mountains of Israel, shall yield your produce and bear your fruit. For my people Israel, their return is near. I will care for you and the soil will be tilled. You will rebuild ruined cities and inhabit them never more to be uprooted and every passerby that comes to the land the nations that are around you will see that i the lord have replanted you in your biblical land and that is a prophecy that has come true in our day thanks to ellie cohen six day war 1967 abigdor kahalani the hero in 1973 and the IDF, the people, the nation, standing up and making prophecy come true. We don't wait for miracles. We active participants in the story of the Jewish people. And here, the mountains of Israel in the Golan Heights. Menucha. Friends, here I'm with Menucha, which means rest, but we're not resting. This is the fourth place lady. How's the run going? The Seder? Sad Kashe? Enjoy it. Kolakavod! Kolakavod! Tata? Look at this beautiful family. Yeah, thank you. They did the 14 kilometer? The 14, yeah. Okay. You have another four. Next four. Do the 32. I win. A lazy bunch. This is the effort behind Marathon Israel events. It would not happen without Elon. Not only is he a chef, he's just a lovely guy. <laughs> Love you, Mofek. Shabbat Shalom. Eyes are tonic. Yes. Check it out. If you're not feeling tanked at this stage of the run, you're having a good day. Excuse the pun. Back to Ben Tull. Here we are, cresting the volcano. Behind me, the volcanic pipe where the lava spewed out, according to geologists, 250 million years ago. 
a long, long time. Anyway, after you've enjoyed your run, you can go to the peak of Mount Bentol and you can go and have a coffee at Kofi Annan. That's a play on words. Kofi Annan, one of the previous UN Secretary Generals. In Hebrew, Annan is cloud. So Kofi Annan, coffee in the clouds. A perfect place to relax and savor your victory after the run. And you can soak up this view into the volcano. And there we go, friends. You can see the start. You can see the wind turbines. You can see old Kunetra. And you can feel good because you're nearing the finish. Hey. Hi. Manishma. <laughs> Guys, I want to show you a typical Israeli scene. Picnic. Picnic in a tank trench in a moat here in the land of Israel. Muskata. There we go. Having having wines here from the vineyards in the Golan Heights. This is the life. Love the land. Love its people. Check this out, guys. This is great stuff. This is what you call tuf. Volcanic rock, perfect for gardening. It's light as anything. This is the stuff that you can get from here. And you'll see in the nurseries, they sell this all over the world. Make yourself a nice bed in your garden. Mr. Kovo from Modi'in. I'm giving you a shout out here. He does the best landscaping in the city of Modi'in. He'll even turn your balcony into a Zen garden and he'll use some of this tuf from the mountains of Bental. There we go. It's not only history, it's also geology. Whoop! Whoop! Guys, you can't get a better route than this. Look at these single trails and then look at the view onto the reservoir and now you're going to see the finish. Vir Almog doing his duty. What a professional. Kalakavod! Chazak! Oh my gosh! This is gorgeous. Here we go. I get my hug. Abby Sweet. The usual hug. Run for fun. That's what we're doing. Running for fun. How was it? Great, great, great. Can I finish great. the runs? Yeah. Thanks. Sure. I'll see you soon. See you. <laughs> okay. Here we go, people. The finish. Of the thing. Woo! This incredible race! Ah, there we go! Yes! It's done! Another medal from Vered. Vered is in a Guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this, share it. How are you doing, my friend? Wonderful atmosphere here at the finish. the top man. So are you. So are you. Wonderful. Thank you to all the staff members. Thank you to all the followers. And remember, all of you international runners out there, come and join us here in the land of Israel, the land of blessing. Remember Chen? We saw a lot of Chen. Here is Chen and his family, his five children. Who did the 14K? Mayan. Mayan? Mayan, how's that? Young talent, 14 kilometer. And your wife? What is your name? Orit. Orit. This is 32 kilometer. And you're going to do the 32 kilometer one day. What's your name? Yarden. Where is the bike? Where is the All water resources. The Ron family, all the children named after water sources. Mayim Chaim, Torat Chaim, Am Israel Bechaim, Am Israel Chai. This is the reason to come and run the race. Family events, Marathon Israel. You bring a smile to my face. Shabbat Shalom, Kola Kavod. What beautiful eyes you all have. Shabbat Shalom. And a fellow clubmate, Moadon Auchat Avok here in the Breakfast Club. How was it? With Wayne, a fellow South African, on the finish of this incredible race how was it it's awesome really good awesome yeah 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 you're gonna come back 
uh, it's third time that I've done it. So third time, lucky. Friends, okay, I'm standing here with Roy Kalmar, who broke the course record today. The winner of the vol volcano run, Golan. How wonderful! Firstly, it was very inspirational to listen to you last night on the panel, and uh, you inspire runners into good work. So thank you very much. Thank you, man. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at all of our events. And we're wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom, a happy weekend, and blessings from the land. Good job, Good job,